Welcome to A Great Cooker. I'm Sophronia. Make sure to subscribe to my channel where almost every day of the week I show you how to make frugal and delicious recipes in your Instant Pot, air fryer, and all kinds of ways. Now let's get started. Today we're going to be cooking some frozen tilapia fillets. These ones I have are both skinless and boneless. And let me show you that they are indeed frozen. I'm gonna start by removing all the fillets from the plastic. They're individually wrapped. Next, season your fish however you see fit. I'm gonna put some lemon juice on mine. I don't know. There's a <laughs> might have gone a little overboard there, but let's see. And now I'm just going to season it, season the fish liberally. I guess I could lay the pieces down in the Instant Pot and season, but I don't want to do all that. Moving on to the Instant Pot. Make sure you have your ring in. I don't need this. I just need my inner pot. And for this eight quart, I just need one and a half cups of water for it to come to pressure. And I'm gonna use this trivet so I can keep the fish up off of the water as much as possible. Let me show you how I layer the fish in the Instant Pot. It's very important that you not stack the fish on top of each other, but that you spread it out and that you stagger it so that it cooks more evenly. Put your top on. And this one, this pressure cooker will automatically seal, but if you need to, set yours to sealing. And uh, you, what you're doing is you're cooking under pressure on high for eight minutes. I'm gonna keep track of the time of how long it comes to pressure, plus the eight minutes, and let you know exactly how long this took to cook. Oh, I talked for too long. This one does not automatically set for you, so let's try that again. Pressure, high pressure, eight minutes, start. All right, I have my thermometer fish fully cooked is 145 degrees. But before that, let me quick release the pressure. It fish is delicate. So you don't want to let it naturally release and continue cooking because it might overcook. It's not quite been two minutes and the pin just dropped. Ooh, it's hot over there, but can you see? It is way past 145 degrees. Let me plate this fish. I'll, actually, let me let you look inside. Make sure to subscribe to A Great Cooker for lots of quick and easy Instant Pot videos. I cook a lot of food from frozen. It's easy and it turns out delicious. I'll see you in the next video.